Hey, um, just showing you what you need to do to get your external hard drive working with your 360. Uh, well, your JTAG 360. So you got your terabyte plugged in. Um, I've got mine in the back. The front ports work as well. So use whatever you like. Um, once you've got it plugged in, if it was working, if you go into the video library, um, it should show up as a portable device. I've got films, games, and music on there, so I'll look for a film. Uh, Cheech and Chong up and smoke. And there we go, that's working. So go back. Now, if it wasn't working, so it wasn't showing up like that, go to memory and it should show up as a USB storage device, so you should be able to configure it if, well, if you wanted to, you could. Um, but even if it's not FAT32, it should still show up there um, if it's not correctly partitioned. So I'm going to go over to my computer, take a terabyte out of the JTAG, plug it into the USB port on my computer. And it should now be plugged in. Mine's formatted to both 500 gig for the PC uh, there and 500 gig for my JTAG. So uh, you need to use this program that I will link you to called our Eases Partition Master. Um, the one I use is 8.01 Home Edition. Um, the other one doesn't work for me for some reason. So find your hard drive and the list of hard drives. So for instance, I'll use JTAG 500 gig. Right click and delete the partition at the bottom. And that will just uh, prompt you to click OK. That's done. Um, and now on the same disk, it should have unallocated um, and that same amount. So go create partition, and then where it says uh, create as, make sure it says primary, and then file system FAT32, um, and just make sure it's taken up all of the space. Click OK, and that should do it for you. And then just click the tick at the top left of the screen, and it should do it for you. Um, I'm not going to go through with it because I've got stuff on there that I want to keep. Um, basically, that's all you need to do, and it should work for you. Um, Hope it helped.